Buffalo, New York, the city of good neighbors. Our story starts here in Kenmore. By now, you've probably heard about 26 shirts, but in case you haven't, one year ago, a man named Del Reed had an idea. Design and sell a unique Buffalo sports t-shirt every two weeks. And then at the end of those two weeks, retire the shirt and give all the proceeds to a family in need. Pretty cool, huh? To think how it's taken off from like, we were doing shirts that were selling, you know, they're selling well, but now we're at the end of this year and we've got players that are actually like endorsing the designs. <laughs> Of the first 26 shirts, 11 pro athletes endorsed one, including Hall of Famers Andre Reed and Jim Kelly. Let's find some of these athletes. We got shirts to deliver. We're here at the home of Sabres forward Matt Molson, number 26 on the ice, but he'll have to settle for shirt number 27. That's right, year two of 26 shirts has begun. My wife and I and our, our family wanted to to do some charitable things in Buffalo now that's going to be our home for a couple of years and um, seeing what 26 shirts were doing, uh, it, it was something we wanted to get involved in. I think it, it speaks volumes of, of what Buffalo is as a city and uh, how passionate the fans are, um, not only about their, their teams and, and shirts, but also of, of uh, you know, their fellow, fellow city members. That's one for the Sabres first liner. On to number two. Number two for the Buffalo Bills, that is. Kicker Dan Carpenter. I don't think he's seen this one yet. You know, it's it's great to be able to get a comfortable shirt, one that's, you know, pretty stylish, I would have to say, and, uh, you know, and at the same time, and help someone out. Can you say hi, buddy? Nope. That's one thing that uh, my wife and I really loved about Buffalo when we got here last year was just how nice the people were, how great the community was. You know, it's just, a, it's definitely a different, closer, like tighter knit feel that you get here in Buffalo than, uh, than I think you do in other uh, cities. It would be stupid of us not to help, help out in any way we can with this. But Carpenter isn't the only Bill getting involved. Former Bills great Fred Smurless, who doesn't even live in Western New York anymore, came back for a weekend to promote his shirt, Fred Knows Best. The idea sounded great. I saw some of the other t-shirts with Kelly's and, and uh, Andre's and stuff. So I thought, wow, this is a nice way to give something to somebody for a donation of charity. So I thought it was a great idea, and we jumped into it. It's different with Buffalo. They love the team. It's not that they... They admire the team. It's not that they are obsessed with watching football. They love their team. I think there's a reason Fred knows best. Buffalo really is the city of good neighbors, from those new to town to those just passing through. Crazy to think one simple concept has become a fabric of this community. To be able to get those emails from people and to be able to get those responses and those thank yous and everything, I mean, that's, I, you can't put a price on that. It's awesome, and that's what the idea of this was. Was, Yeah, it's fun to sell t-shirts, but to have the ability to actually drop a money bomb <laughs> in somebody's lap who really needs it, um, that's the biggest compliment you could ever get. Welcome to Buffalo, where good t-shirts make good neighbors.